guys welcome back to the channel we are back with another video today we are going to start the css course for beginners let's start it here first let us know what is the css css stands for cascading style sheets provides easy and effective alternate to this to specify various attributes for the html tag whenever you are going to create an html document it it is going to give you certain alternatives which can effectively bring out your page with the sense of a styling second point can specify a number of style properties for a given html element third point each property has a name and a valif separated by a colon this is a very 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 important because all the H, all the css properties that you are going to write will always have a name and a value pair fourth point each property declaration is separated by a semicolon that is if you are going to have certain multiple properties at the end of each property you need to add a sem semicolon whereas between the value and the name and the value pair you need to separate them uh, with a colon so this is how the properties are going to look like css in three ways in your html document now whenever you are going to add your html page with your css page the linking of these two that is the css page and html page can be done in three ways which are these three ways let us see them the first way is external style sheet define style sheet rules is separate CSS file and then include that file in your HTML document using the HTML link tag. Now, what does this do here? External style sheet means it will be different. Your CSS page will be different and then your HTML page will be different. And then we are going to link this CSS sheet to your HTML document with the help of a tag called as the link tag. Next you have is internal style sheet now what is this internal style sheet you will be having your html document over here inside this html document itself you will be having your css style sheet plus your html style sheet how you are going to connect with both for this you have a style tag which will be written inside your header tag to link your css style sheet with your html document the third way that you are going to link is the inline style sheet. Here you are going to define it inside the same HTML element with the help of style attribute. For example, if you want to style a for one paragraph, if you want to style a paragraph, paragraph P, inside this P tag, you need to specify an attribute called as the style attribute and you need to give as equals to and inside this style tag, you can just give your you can just give your property like this inside the element itself. So that is called as inline style sheet. Now, now the question is, which of these following linking of your CSS style sheet with your HTML style sheet is a better option? Now, for example, if I give you, now think that for your CSS sheet, you have about 400 lines of code. And in your HTML, you have about 300 lines of code. 400 plus 300 will be 700 lines of code in the same pattern. But here you can see that 400 are in different page or a different sheet and this 300 are in a different document. Now, in total, when or whenever your page gets loaded, HTML supports multi-threading via the web workers. Now, whenever these 300 lines of code are getting executed at the same time, it is also whenever the link tag is going to come in contact with the parser, it is also going to link your 400 lines of code. That is, the 300 lines of code are going to get executed when these lines of code are getting executed simultaneously. So now 300 plus 100. So in total, 400 lines will be there to execute. Now, whenever you're going to opt the same thing for an internal style sheet, you will have 400 lines of code for CSS plus 300 lines of code for your HTML. In total, it has to take 700 lines of code. Think that this 400 lines of code are going to get executed in three seconds. In the same way, these are going to get executed in five seconds. So this will be more efficient when compared to your internal style sheet. 
in the same way when you are you are going to write in the inline style sheet itself again it will be of the same process because in every line you need to add the style sheet so this is also going to give you some delay so the best way to use your xcs style sheet with your html style sheet is with the external style sheet itself next we have external style sheet if you need to use your style sheet to various pages then it's always recommended to define a common style sheet in a separate file this is also one more very good point where you can which is going to tell you why you need to use your external style sheet because there will be multiple pages in your software or in your application whereas when you are you are going to see all these will be having same set of background same font size and some similarities between them so for that to link all these things you need to have one style sheet which is going to make your work easier rather than writing it in in every style sheet you can just write write it in one style sheet and you can link the same to all the other pages the next point is a cascading style sheet a file will have an extension with dot css and it will be included in your html file with the help of your link tag let us see the practical implementation of an external style sheet This is your Visual Studio Code. Here we have your folder. Inside this folder, we have index.html. Now, whenever you are writing your index.html, always a we do is we write HTML and file. So this is our basic HTML document. Now, whenever you want to link your HTML document, now let me add a paragraph here, a paragraph of a lorem ipsum. I'll save this. Now I'll create a one more sheet that is styles. Now always, whenever you are writing your styles dot sheet, you need to add it as dot css. So this is our style sheet, and whenever you want to link your style sheet, all you need to do is you have to add your link tag, and here you have css. We have the name as style itself, so style dot css. This is it. Now whenever you want to add certain styling to it. you can just add it over here i'll just be adding for the paragraph i'll be changing the color of the paragraph to red so let me just quickly see the preview tab as well so here we have this so whenever you are going to just remove this and save it you have it as black and with the style sheet we have this so if you are not going to link it properly then If you don't link it properly, then it is not going to show you. This is how we are going to link the external style sheet with our CSS. Now, next, let us see how to link our internal style sheet. If you want to apply the style sheet rules in a single document only, then you can include those rules in the header section of your HTML document using the style tag. rules defined in an internal style sheet overrides the rules defined in an external style sheet that means whatever you are going to write in your external style sheet will be overrided with the rules that you are going to write in your internal style sheet that is the first preference will be given to the internal style sheet over the external style sheet now let's try this out and let us see how we can do it we already have our in external style sheet linked now to link our internal style sheet first we need to add we need to add a style tag here inside this style tag all you need to do is you need to give the paragraph color i'll change it to violet whenever i'm i change it to violet now you can see that the oh, it is overriding the color that we have given here in the external style, style sheet or you can also say that it is overriding the internal style sheet is overriding the property that is being given in the external style sheet this was about the internal style sheet now let us see about the inline style sheet you can apply style sheet rules directly to any html element using the style attribute of a relevant tag rules defined in an inline with the element overrides the rules defined in an external file as well as the rules defined in the internal style or you can say in the style element and when you have to do your inline style sheet this should be done only when you are interested to make a particular change in an html element only so let us see this let us see it practically now if i am going to add here again 
I need to use my style attribute and inside my style attribute I'm gonna give color blue. Now you can see that the color property is being overridden from the internal style sheet as well as from the external style sheet and this is how you, you give property in the style attribute itself. This is all about the style sheets. This is all for today's video. Meet you again in the next video with some more concepts of CSS. Till then, keep learning. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.